Hi guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm so excited to be vlogging this week. I have so much on, like super random stuff, but it should be should be fun. It's probably gonna be a lengthy video. Um, I actually did just receive a notification. I have some packages downstairs, which I'm very excited about. I did a little bit of damage online shopping last week, so we'll unbox those in a moment. Um, but before we do that, I need to chat to you guys about shop back. So Stay tuned, there's some really crazy deals coming up. So for those of you that don't know, Shopback is an online platform where you actually make money back by spending money. So for example, if you spend, usually they have like on average up to 10% off. So if you spend $100 and then the particular store you're buying from has up to 10% cash back, then you'd get $10 back, which is obviously incredible. But for Afterpay Day, they are having up to 30% off with some of my favorite brands. So Sephora is one of them, Princess Polly, Boohoo, Target even. I absolutely love getting all of like my books and then also a lot of my homewares from Target as well. So yeah, I'm just doing some online browsing now on the app because Sephora is included in that and I'm very excited because I really need to stock up on some of my Olaplex products and then I'm also about to run out of my favorite concealer the Tarte Shape Tape so I'm just like browsing now to see if there's anything else I can get and then of course jumping on Princess Polly as well I just want to like know what I'm getting have it in my cart ready so that when the sales go live I can get everything that I want and I'm 99% sure as well that even if the store is having a discount you get that plus the shop back amount cashback amount which is just crazy so for example if sephora is having 20 percent off then you also get your shop back money into your account which is just crazy so yeah if you guys are wanting to save money and if you have to spend the money anyway on uh, um some purchases then you may as well do it through shop back because then you get the money back as an extra and who doesn't like a little bit of extra cash but yeah i'm just seeing what else i can get my hands on they do also have so they have the online um platform on the website but they do also have the app as well and the app is super easy to use i'll just show you guys sorry i just have my cart open but i'll show you guys how easy it is to use so basically they have all of these um stores which is crazy they honestly have so many and then you can search products brands or stores so obviously i was just searching at sephora before um so today they have seven percent cash back but they're having up to 30 percent on after pay day, which is amazing. And Sephora usually do jump on board with like the sales as well. So you get a double whammy. And then it basically just brings you to the website and then you just shop through there and then you get your cash back. So I'm just gonna go for a browse and see what else I can get my hands on. I also really need to get a top up of my lip gloss because it's almost out. So I get the glass slipper. Um, gloss by Fenty Beauty. So I'm just gonna add that to my cart and then I feel like with like after pay day, it's a really great time to stock up on all of your favorite products because I feel like there's no good sales again until the end of the year. So I'm probably gonna go a little bit crazy. I've also heard the Double Wear Foundation is good from Estee Lauder. Should I try that? I just don't know. There's so many good products on here. But yeah, if you guys do wanna take advantage of the after pay day sales, then you can actually use my code AliAU10 and you actually get $10 put onto your account, which is very exciting. I will link all of the info down below for you guys and happy shopping. Please ignore the dogs in the background. If you can hear them, they're just playing on the couch. Um, but I just got my first ever Skims package. I'm very excited about it. I actually don't own any skims. I actually have tried to buy from them a few times and I like set my alarm for it was like 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning or something like that and then everything was like already sold out. Um, there was like a glitch one of the times that I went to buy from them and I just honestly just gave up. Like I wasn't really sure what was happening so I kind of just like didn't waste my time on it. Um, but today is the day. It finally came. So I just got some like basics. Um, nothing really exciting. I will show you guys everything once I get it out of the packaging. Um, I'm just gonna film like a TikTok first. Yes, I am back on TikTok. So if you guys aren't following me over on TikTok, make sure you go and check out my videos. I have had a video blow up. I'm feeling pretty great about that. Um, for my birthday, it was literally like the most random video ever, but I feel like that's like always the way. I was trying to avoid TikTok for so long, I think, because just having like too many platforms, it's just like a little bit overwhelming. Um, but I'm back on TikTok. I am more excited about it now because I feel like it's like a little bit more like fun. I feel like I started it during COVID. Sorry. Um, during COVID, it was more like dancing and like video like random videos like that whereas now um it'll probably just be more like 
outfits like mini vlogs stuff like that little mini tutorials and things like that um like i did actually film me dicing my hair a little mini tutorial over there as well so i'm not sure if i'm like completely happy with it um but if it is on there then you guys will obviously see it i might refilm tomorrow i feel like my hair's like settled a lot so it's good now but yeah just the lighting in my building is just crazy like it's so blue from the um from the ocean is <laughs> such like a stupid problem to have but yeah i feel like whenever i go to film from like any area of my house the lighting's like really blue so i have to film in like the office and like the lighting's not as clear in there but anyway i'm going on a tangent um but yeah follow me on tiktok if you guys aren't already and if there's any videos you want me to film on there or any tutorials or anything like that let me know and i'll do that for you um or yeah any any sort of videos you guys want to see but yeah i got um, some basics, I got like a little set of scoop neck bra, some bottoms, um, one of the tees and then also some pajamas. That was actually the reason I initially went on there because I love the look of their pajamas. So I got some of those, but yeah, I'll show you guys them in a sec. I'm really not sure how that TikTok is going to go down. Honestly, the lighting in this apartment and me are not friends. We hate each other apparently. Um, but yeah, I got this little like scoop neck crop top tasha has a heap of these in different colors and she always raves about how comfortable they are and yeah it feels really nice and soft and comfy has adjustable straps as well and then i got this top i really wanted this in a different color um i really wanted like the longer version in like the black or something but they were all sold out so hopefully i can get my hands on one really soon um but yeah i got it in this color which i'm like not not really sure about why i did that it's actually skin colored I thought it would be cute, but maybe not. I'm really not sure about that one. And then I've got the matching underwear as well. It actually feels so comfortable and like stretchy, that fabric. And then the main reason I actually, yeah, got this package was for the pajamas because it's getting like a little bit chilly at nighttime. I don't know if it's because we're like up high um, in this apartment, but it's so cold in the mornings and at nighttime. So I got this like heather gray colored um long sleeve and the bottoms as well hopefully the bottoms aren't super long but yeah they have like a nice thick waistband they feel really nice and soft as well they honestly do feel like my um chill lily's brand her um pajamas like that same like softness so yeah got those i did also order a heap of other pajamas from beginning boutique they have like really cute ones so i think those are coming in tomorrow or something but i'll show you guys once they arrive um they are like more like short sleeve sort of ones but yeah i just love like cute pajamas i just have a thing for them there's a like silky pink set coming and then also like a gingham pink set and they both look so cute um so yeah i'm excited to try these on i might well i'm going to try them on for tiktok but i don't know if that'll go up or not but you guys will see me wearing this stuff i'm sure at some point also, look how cute Romy is right now. He's literally obsessed. He has to be on someone at all times. Okay, so I just tried everything on. The This, so, so sheer. You could literally see everything. You can see everything. Um, so that was fun. I'm going to have to return that one. The underwear I'm going to keep, though. It's super, super comfortable. And then this is the pajamas i wish they did a like a petite arm um, length but they don't so yeah they are like a bit sort of long but i've just like folded them down and they still fit quite nicely and then i got everything in size extra small so um i don't know if i should size up for a small or just keep the extra small it is like more fitted than i thought it'd be but i think i kind of like it i feel like it'd be like nicer to sleep in it's just like a little bit different to what i'm used to um but i do still like it what do you guys think do you think like a little bit more fitted is nice or do you think that yeah and i like like the length and stuff like i feel like it's really nice and comfortable and all that so nice to see the sun finally out after so much rain the boys are just chilling on the balcony hi buzzards hello hi hi you guys are so cute besties so nice out here hey it is hot. It's like really hot. It's actually going to be a kind of pretty sunset.
guys how are we i just had some packages arrive so i thought i'd do a little unboxing please excuse the makeup and swim i uh, was actually shooting some content this morning and then was just down at the beach for a little bit it is so hot today it's literally the hottest day it's been all summer in my opinion um not that we've really had a summer but yeah, so hot today and I think um, it's because there's like no wind. Like the water's so flat, usually at this time of the afternoon. It's like, it picks up a lot, but it's still so flat. It's crazy. So I got, um, I actually have a few packages here. So I'm gonna hide my address. I have some stuff from Beginning Boutique. Some of this I bought myself and then some they were kind enough to gift me. Um, so I ordered, I'm not sure if I already told you guys or not, but I ordered some of their pajamas. I think I told you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. And I think they are in this one. Yay! So cute. So I got, I'll show you guys like the silky set first. Um, oh, they're so cute. Okay, so got these little shorts. They were literally like, for like a set, I think it was like $50. Like everything was on special too. Um, she's so good, like $50 for a little pajama set. Bloody cheering. Oh, and this is so cute too in the pink. The fabric's actually really nice. Like it's way thicker than I was expecting. Um, but it looks like really good quality. Like it looks like it wouldn't crease easily, which a lot of my silky pajamas do. They crease quite easily. And then this is the gingham one as well, which I think is also so adorable. So there's the little shorts. I got them both in a size six because I want them to be like comfortable enough. They also do go down to a four if you're like on the smaller size. Side, sorry, if you're on the smaller side. And then this is the shirt. Obsessed. And then I also got some, oh yeah, so I got gifted some things as well. So I sent a few things over that I was after and they said they would send out a few of them gifted so i'm not even sure what they sent oh yay these are the ones that i was hoping for so that's good so first up i have this really beautiful pink dress this is new i feel like it'll sell out super quickly so i feel like just like things like this are so perfect to have in your wardrobe for special occasions for when you are dying for something new to wear and then you jump online and everything's sold out that you like i feel like this will sell out really quickly and yeah i feel like it's just really cute so just has the um, crossover back there. I might try this on and show you guys. But yeah, it has like sort of like an open back and it's long. I love the pink color. And then I have wanted this dress for ages and it's one of those things that I was like, had my eye on for a while and then I went to finally check out like a few weeks later and then it was sold out. So it's like, damn it. And then when it came back in stock, I was like, hmm, I should probably get my hands on that for when I want it again. But yeah, I feel like this would be so cute. Just like wear to like the markets or something. We could dress it up, I suppose. But yeah, I just think it's like a really cute little like Sunday brunch sort of dress. Has like the cutouts on the sides and then just zips up at the back. Just super cute. And then, oh, I wanted these like low-waisted pants to go with this top. But they obviously couldn't send that. I might see if it's still online and then buy them. I feel like they were a massive vibe. Oh, this is still really nice though. Just the top. So these are very in at the moment, like bustiers. So I got this black bustier. Looks like really good quality. Like it has like the lining through there and everything. And then lastly, I think this is like the white dress I was after, which was like another one of those things where you have like a special occasion or an event on and you just want something like pretty to wear. And yeah, this is it. So it's like a long white linen dress. And then it just has, um, like it's sort of like a similar sort of style to that. Um, floral one has like an open back. But yeah, I might try those on and show you. And then I'll just stick with the clothes while we're here. Because I have quite a few. I also did an order on uh, House of CB. But for their Mistress Rock stuff. So that's like their sister brand. So yeah, they brought out some new stuff that I thought was cute. Also, let me know if you guys like seeing little like unboxings on my YouTube. Or if you'd prefer them on TikTok. Um, but yeah, this is one of them. Okay, so this is part of a set. It's gonna be like hard to sort of like show on camera, but this is like the top. It's like kind of cool. I feel like it looks like not that great on camera there to be honest, but I feel like it'll look really good on. Okay, so nothing special, but I just got the matching pants. They sort of like flare out of the bottom. And then I also got this really beautiful black dress. 
I feel like this dress would be perfect for if I'm going to like Melbourne or something, which hopefully I will do in winter. But yeah, it's like lacy. It looks like very emo. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. I feel like it looks really good on the website online. And I feel like this is like, um, I don't know. I just feel like this would look really cute with like a bouncy high pony. I don't know. We'll have to see how that one goes. And then my favorite, can you guys hear that? The dogs, Milo literally makes like the weirdest sounds. Like he sounds like a motor or something. But my favorite, orange. that dress isn't on here, so it's fine. Um, I actually haven't gotten one of these in so long. Cause I was trying to be good, but here we are. It's time. I'm so excited. So for those of you that don't know what this is, our friend Nick makes these incredible slabs. I think there's like an ice pack in here. Yeah. So it's like this one is the Biscoff brownie one, which is my favorite. They do like the blondie one as well. But I just love the caramel milk Biscoff brownie because I love the brownie heated up. Like it's just so freaking good. It smells incredible. I cannot wait to hop into this. It's so dangerous though. Like once I start, I really struggle to stop. So I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to have some serious self control here. But yeah, I will link his stuff down below. He's honestly amazing. It has so many different flavors. Go check him out. Um, yeah, he has like, I just don't even know how he comes up with all the flavors. There's so many on there. There's like choc mint, caramello, red velvet, cheesecake ice cream ones like the list goes on um but yeah i'll show you guys some of this um beginning boutique stuff actually i also got the size up of that princess polly um play suit if you guys have seen my most recent princess polly haul then you guys would know what i'm talking about i got the size six but i wanted to size up to an eight just because it ran a little bit small um so yeah i got this and this is like how it fits if you guys were wanting to know but yeah it's really cute I need to cut like the tags and stuff off, but you guys get the idea. First up, I have this really pretty white linen sort of dress. I feel like it looks super cute with heels on or even flats. Um, but yeah, I love the elastic through this. I feel like this will come very in handy. Just like a cute little basic white dress, but I love the fact that it has like the cutouts. Um, and then like the open back as well. Then we have the pink one here. It's so pretty. I do need to tighten the straps. Um, and I just ate. And this is very like figure sort of hugging. Um, I should not have smacked back that brownie before filming this. But yeah, it's super cute. I love that it's like that like mermaid shape. And then this is the little floral printed one. Just super cute as well. The little side cutouts are adorable. I just put the um, skirt that I had on before back on just so I can show you guys this top. But yeah, the fit of it's really, really nice. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this, I'm sure. Mr. Romeo is scavenging through everything. Come here. Come on, you're gonna play with your actual toys. Oh, no, no. <laughs> he is so cheeky. You're so cheeky, you're so cheeky. This little boy is crazy. <laughs> Hello. Hi, you wanna just play with everything? <laughs> I'm just putting a big chunk, I don't know how much to give them in this container for Talia and M because if it's all here, I just know I will have zero self-control and I won't be able to stop myself. But like, is this too much for me? I'll probably end up having this tonight. But then like, I kinda wanna save some like in the freezer. I might leave it at that and then see how I go. Cause like that would become small fairly quickly, you know? And I am due for my time of the month and I always crave sweets so badly around that time. There's this cloud and you can see the lightning. And it's so cool. I thought it was like the sun still, cause like everywhere else is dark, but yeah, there's literally like lightning chilling up there. It keeps going off. It's so cool. I was just watching it from, I was just watching it from bed. Wow, well, you can't see a thing in here. Hey, boobies. Just finished making dinner. I'm just having a coleslaw with some char grilled corn and then some beef bristles with a chutney sauce. Actually looks so, so good. I just finished my makeup and I thought I would film me dicing my hair for you guys because I've had a few of you asking 
for a mini tutorial on it i've shown it a few times in my videos but i understand that it's like not super in-depth so i figured i would kind of go into it a little bit more in this video um but yeah basically i feel like i've mastered it for my hair type anyway so my hair i actually did dyson already yesterday from wet to being fully dyson i find that if i um, wet my hair and then dice in it, it like the curls are like really intense which is like good because they obviously hold really well but I feel like I prefer the look of them the second day um, so yeah I know a lot of people will like dice in their hair and then it lasts them all week my hair just isn't built that way I literally have to do it every single day if I want it done um, because yeah like this is I did it yesterday and it's like all all come out my hair just like kicks really easily so like looks like they had a ponytail from the gym and stuff it's just not curled anymore. So that's where we're at. Um, but yeah, I'm going to Dyson it anyway today. It's actually like really fast when I've already done it like the day before. Um, yeah, it's just like so much faster. So I just sectioned my hair into three different sections. And then I just brush over the sections I'm about to do. I don't know why, but I always start off with this side. So basically you want the curls going away from your head. I also like to section these pretty small. Um, and because I have my extensions versus like my real hair, I'll usually separate them as well. So this is like my real hair, for example. So I'll do this little baby one first. Oh, she's not even plugged in. We're off to a good start. Oh, shit. We have a little tiny bit. And then I have it on the hottest settings just because it's faster. <laughs> and I'm flat. So for the smaller bits, I literally just like wrap it around. And then I hold it there. And then the most important part is that you need to cool it first. So once it gets like hot enough, you just press this lever down and cool it. I see so many tutorials with someone on TikTok and they just forget to do this step. And cooling the curl is what will make it last and make it hold a lot better. So once you cool, just release and we have our little ringlet there i like to start from front to back but you can do back to front it's totally up to you i find that i can just like manage it a little bit better when it's like back to front see how like so that's the extension and because my real hair just falls out so i kind of go down and then i'll loop that back in i find that the other thing too with it being like wet to dry is that you have to like hold it for longer and it just takes so much longer because you're obviously drying your hair at the same time whereas because this is already like dry and already has like some form of depth in the curls <laughs> so much faster now that this side is all done i just go in with some hairspray just to hold it all together i find that if i don't hairspray it then it doesn't hold as well um, but yeah, we'll move on to the other side. So just swapping over the barrels and repeating the same process. Now that that bottom section is done, I'm going to move on to the second section. I usually do around three sections of hair. This next section is the biggest one. It takes me the longest, um, but it's fine. It has to be done. Because I already have this side's barrel in, I just go straight to this side. So for my little front sections here, I just separate it. Similar to what I was doing with those short sections earlier. And then I just fold them around. And I don't hold these ones for as long, so just a moment. They can burn this side of your face as well. And there we have it. They will like cool down. Not cool down, sorry, like chill out a bit as well. We'll grab a long piece. Okay, so the trick with the long ones is, I'll try and like lean back so I can show you guys, is yeah, you just want to like wrap around the tip and like kind of like pull it out and up until it's like wrapped on its own. See how it's like barely hanging on there? And then you want to roll it in. And then those little bits that fell down before will usually just like draw themselves into the barrel or you can push them over yourself. Oh, there you go. There you have it. I like to pull it like upwards because I feel like it just makes it like curlier. I don't know what it is. Obviously this all drops so much, but yeah, you get the idea. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest now and then I'll show you guys once I get to my fringe. <laughs>
show you guys the last one of this section. But see how I like wrap it around and then just like pull, like tug it, jiggle it a little bit. And then when you're down here, you also want to make sure you bring it back. Just because if it's forward, it's not going to curl as close to your head as possible. So just bring it back. Of course, it's very inconvenient. Pull it, of course. And then, hey. So, there we have, oh, gloss. So there we have section two done. I might just go in. What's this little random one here? I might just go in and curl this little bad boy really quickly. Moving on to the final section. So for this section, um, it's kind of a bit random because there's quite short bits and then also quite long bits. I prefer to do my fringe at the very end as well. So I kind of just leave like this little section chilling forward and then I just grab it in little sections and then angle it backwards like what I was doing with the other front pieces. Another thing I wanted to mention as well is I find this so funny. Like it may be different for other people, but I just laugh when people buy the Dyson and think like it's going to be so quick and easy to use because it really isn't. Every time I Dyson my hair, like this will take me, it's already taken me 25 minutes. Um, so I'll probably end up taking like 30, 35. And uh, if I'm doing it from wet, it takes like 40 to 45 minutes. Obviously, I have a lot of hair and it's quite thick, um, but I feel like you need thick hair for it to work anyway. Like, it doesn't really work on, like, thin, like, super thin hair. So, or, like, greasy or oily hair, my hair's super dry. Um, like, it would work, but it would just fall out quite quickly and you need to use a lot of product in it if you did want it to last. Um, so, that's the only time I think it would be really thick and easy, but, yeah, I think... I don't know if it's just me, but it takes ages, so it always makes me giggle when I see people buy it, and they're like, so excited, it's going to be so quick and easy, because it's just not, it's just not for me anyway. Okay, it's time for the fringe, everything else is looking quite wild at the moment, but it does really calm down and settle throughout the day. So I just grab, yeah, my front pieces here. Also, sometimes if my little um, side pieces like aren't really working, I'll just go over them with like a hair straightener. Like I might go over that one like a little bit, but yeah, you can kind of just like tweak everything to your own personal preference. But I actually, you can roll your hair backwards or forwards. I don't know why, but I just prefer to do it forwards. Um, I also make sure that I make the setting cooler because obviously your fringe is like super delicate because you style it more than the rest of your hair. Um, so yeah, I like to put it on a cooler setting. And I actually just make sure it like grabs at the front, flip it around. And then... Reverse her back, and I don't hold it there for as long as my like the rest of my hair, and I just make sure I pull it straight away and just pull it for a bit. If you want like a more intense like fringe curl, you could also use like rollers and stuff. Um, but I haven't really like delved into that too much. <laughs> Cute. Um, so that's how it looks, and then you just like flick it back, and. That's my Dyson hair done. So it'll chill out like quite a lot throughout the day. Like if I wanted it to stay like this, then I could easily like hairspray it or something in place some more. Um, but yeah, I actually like it when it kind of like chills out a bit more throughout the day. And I'm just using some of the Olaplex hair oil through the top. I don't like to use too much because otherwise the curls really, like they really will drop. But yeah, this is her. Sally and I are actually going for a late lunch at this new restaurant um, called La Luna. It's been open for a little while now, maybe like a month or two, and it looks really, really good. So I'm very excited to go. She's already been, actually. And so it's like Tasha and stuff, and I haven't been yet, so I'm very excited. 
um, it looks really good like the food looks good and it's on the marina as well I'm pretty sure so I feel like the view will be really nice um, but yeah it's like a nice way to spend my Thursday afternoon I had heaps of work to do this morning so I got all of that done This is so rogue of me, but as I was um, leaving Hustle this morning, I could just smell bacon and eggs and I was craving a bacon egg roll. Just on my way to get my nails done post Pilates. So I just stopped in and got, yeah, bacon egg roll. I'm very excited about it. Um, I'm just getting an infill because we are due. Oh my gosh, you guys, it looks so good. Look at that bun. Bye. That burger was so good, you guys. Um, but yeah, just a little reminder that you can go to Pilates and then go and get a bacon egg burger afterwards as a little treat yourself. It's all about balance and moderation. I've never done that before, but it doesn't hurt. I've definitely had my moments of like going and then like being starving and going and getting other things. Um, but yeah, I'm just posting on the Cali Swim Instagram and then I'm gonna head in and yeah, get my nails done. My skin has actually been really bad. I tried some new skincare, which I shouldn't have done. It's just because I have, like I have so much skincare um, and I was just organizing it the other day and I just don't use any of it. Like I use like the same three or four products. Um, so I was like trying out all these products and I know that your skin like breaks out first before, um, before it sort of like works when you're using new products. But yeah, I'm just gonna revert back to the products I always use because I can't deal these little breakouts um i'm fortunate enough to have really good skin most of the time i feel like all i've shown you guys this week is me shopping but yeah i just got back from the shops i went and bought all the stuff for sunday's dessert baking contest very excited about that and then i also bought just like some extra bits and pieces um Romy's investigating i got all of these things just from kmart um to help with <laughs> filming tiktoks honestly who have i become unsure I also got this for flash picks. I'll be interested to see if it works because I know a lot of that stuff doesn't actually um, really work that well. Oh, nice. Right. Also got there. And then, oh, little oh, Remy. He's so cute. Remy. He's so cute. Um, I got these. I bought like a, a proper, <laughs> I bought a proper hanger, um, sorry, towel hanger, tea towel hanger. Um, a while ago and it didn't actually fit. I got it on Amazon. I'm still not 100% sure of what I'm making. I think I know, but I just got this as a backup in case I needed it. Um, basically, I think oh, I really should do this up on the counter. I'm going to do this up on the counter because this, this little nugget will try and eat everything. Okay, I'm going to try my best to explain to you what I'm actually making. Um, if you want to see the finished product, then you guys have to watch the vlog the whole way through. But basically, it's like this chocolate brownie as the base and then a scoop of ice cream on top and then this um, like chocolate dome over the top of it and then you pour like the hot um, butter butterscotch sauce over the top and then it like all melts. And then I'm gonna decorate like around the edge of the dome and it's gonna have um, this golden gay time popcorn, raspberries, blueberries, and I really wanna get these like, you know, like the mini, it's like the mini chocolate balls. They're called crisp pearls or something. I was trying to get my hands on some and I did find a place where they actually aren't open. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They're like, oh, you can get them Monday. And I was like, okay, cool. It doesn't really help me. I was gonna do like a classic chocolate mud cake, but I feel like this is more fun. And if we are getting marked on presentation, I feel like it'll look really cool if I can pull it off. So yeah, keep watching if you guys wanna see the end result. Um, but yeah, that's basically what all of these ingredients are for. I got two different types of ice cream though, cause I'm like, I don't know which one's better. I mean, they're both classic vanilla, 
I thought that was actually vanilla bean, not gonna lie, but it's classic vanilla. And I also got Dutch cacao powder too. Apparently that's better than normal cacao powder. So yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. And I got these to put the chopped brownie in, but I think they're actually too big because there was like a cookie cutter, but it looked really small. But now that I think about it, the small cookie cutter, like I just didn't, <laughs> the girls can eat basically. And I figured the girls would literally murder me if the chocolate brownie piece was too small. But now that I think about it, a small piece would probably be good because we're gonna be eating a lot of dessert, if that makes sense. So I might have to go back and get that. But yeah, got all of this because I'm helping Jake with his shoot tomorrow and I've got to do some more work. I've got so much work to do this week. Um, more work tomorrow, day of filming, so I won't have time to get anything tomorrow. And then Sunday is baking day. So yeah, that's where we're at. I'm gonna put all this stuff away now. One of my favorites you guys so good sorry please excuse the straw i already had a sip it's honestly just so yummy um so it's using the naked harvest protein powder it was limited edition but i think they are restocking um we have dedicated her collab it's so good it literally reminds me of like um banana paddle pop ice cream unfortunately my discount code doesn't work on collabs um but yeah it's really really good i definitely recommend it i haven't actually tried the pre-workout yet i had a few of you asking for a review fruit tingles not really my vibe um but yeah i might try it at some point and let you guys know um but yeah absolutely love this smoothie at the moment it's so so yummy really quick and easy obviously and nice and healthy Except for the sugar free maple syrup but that's okay um also i'm just gonna have this i'm just getting some work done on my laptop but i am going to my pantry's a mess like why is there oat milk here honestly unsure um just from like my birthday and stuff because we still have a lot of you are asking what happens to like all the lollies and chocolate they're literally chilling out the back there because, like, people ate some of it, but not all of it, obviously. Um, and, like, this, Jake just leaves empty containers in the pantry. Does anyone else's boyfriend do this? Because Jake is the worst for it. And I always get up him. And I, like, pulled it out the other day. And I was like, excuse me, what is this? And he was like, I left it there. So I remember to get more. Um, so that's why it's still there. But, yeah, like, I literally, chaos. What is going on here? Oh, so yeah, it's just like all these lollies. Like, I don't know what to do with them. Usually this is like my breakfast food, like, drawer, you know? And it's just like overloaded at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm going to organize that in next week's vlog. Um, and I need to like organize like all the supplements and stuff as well. So stay tuned for that vlog. I also did actually clean out the fridge this morning. And I'm going to do a massive like restock of that in next week's vlog as well. So yeah, that's where we're at. The apartment is beautiful and clean. Hi, gorgeous. Hi. Hello. Oh. Oh, Milo's coming to join. Um, yeah, we're taking him to the vet on Monday because he's getting his last vaccination, I think. Um, but he keeps vomiting in his sleep at night time. Like, he'll vomit. Like, this morning he vomited at 5 a.m. all over me. Like, under the covers. Um, and all over the bed little baby and like he's kind of he hasn't like fully vomited every night before that but we heard him like he'll make like that gagging sort of reflex sound and then go to vomit and then i'll literally have to like wake up 
Like I hear him wake up, run with him outside because I obviously don't want him to vomit on the bed. Last night was the first time he did that. Are you kidding? They're actually just so damn cute. Um, but yeah, I don't know what it is. We're gonna trial a few different food options because yeah, whatever he's eating seems to be upsetting his little tummy. Hi, hi. Good morning guys, sorry the lighting is so dark back here. Um, I am all ready, I'm just getting some Instagram stories for White Fox. I have a work day today. It is Saturday, the weather's actually really beautiful outside, but yeah, I have so much work to get done this week. It's just been a little bit chaotic. I actually really wanna get my extensions taken out, so that's the reason I have, I've literally Dyson my hair every single day and I have to Dyson it again tomorrow just because I wanna have plenty of content with my hair in before having like two weeks with no hair. Um, I am gonna use like extensions and just have my hair in like a sleep bun and stuff like that. But yeah, it's just good to have a good variety, I suppose, because if I was posting in a bun every day, people just wouldn't like that. I feel like it's fine on like, if that's like your account and your vibe, but because my hair is like always different in my account, I feel like I have this like pressure for it to always be like different, to keep things interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm going to film these Instagram stories now. Um, you guys will see this video at some point, um, like the stories, if you follow me on Instagram. If you aren't, my Instagram is at Ali Orden. I link it down below in the description for you. Um, and then I've got to film my haul as well for White Fox. So yeah, that will be done after this. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just like set this up, the camera up, so you guys can see like a behind the scenes of me getting my stories, I suppose. Pretty boring, but might be interesting to some people. is all done I just ordered myself some uber eats um, I'm like obsessed with burgers at the moment I've probably been obsessed with them for like the past like three months I go through like phases of what I'm like really vibing and at the moment it's burgers and it's not slowing down anytime soon um, they're honestly just so good like a homemade ordered whatever but my only thing is it cannot be chicken thigh. Blech. I literally, I cannot do chicken thigh. I don't know what it is. I know so many people get offended by that, but it's not it. It's really not it. Um, so yeah, I just ordered one. It's like a smashed beef patty one from this place. It's honestly like not the best. I prefer the one there's like, what's it called? Um, two yolks in Burley Heads. Their burgers, incredible. Um, this one isn't that good, but it's the only one that I can order on Uber Eats and their chips are actually really yummy. They have really yummy chips. I'm obsessed with them. They have like heaps of chicken salt. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to tidy up the apartment. I did actually clean the apartment this morning, um, but whenever I film, I just make a little bit of a mess. So I'm just going to like put all the clothes away and like organize everything again. Um, and yeah, there's some washing that's done, so I need to put that away as well that I put on this morning. Are you guys okay? Um, but our couch is, everyone always asks where it's from. Um, like on Instagram. <laughs> hello. Hello, okay, that's not working for me. Um, yeah, everyone always asks on Instagram where it's from, and the quality is so bad. We've had it for six months, and the pillion and stuff, like I don't even wanna show you guys. It's so bad, we got it from Odds Design. Um, so if you guys, like if I have sent you the link before, like when we first got it, I was obsessed with it. But yeah, the pillion is horrible. And I know that people could say that it's like from dogs and stuff, but it's literally like where the dogs haven't even been before. So, oh, you're so cute boy. Come here, come here. He literally like leaps off the couch when you go to grab him. You wanna go down? Okay, so demanding. Um, So I actually ordered a new couch. I know, that's a bit, a bit extravagant, Um, but I'm thinking, I might donate this couch because even though the pillion is annoying, um, it's still a really great couch and it's super comfy and I feel like someone will be able to get some use out of it and they might want to um, upholster it or something if they want to. So yeah, I think I'll do that instead of selling it. All right, I wanted to show you guys this as well. A little tea towel holder from Kmart. It's actually so handy. I need organizing there too. Look, we're not talking about it. Remy. Honestly, a puppy is like a newborn baby. Like, surely everyone has to get a dog before they have a newborn. <laughs> it's like a warm up. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is actually really convenient and handy. It's not like the prettiest thing ever, but I mean, what is going to be, you know? My Uber Eats is here. It was also buy one, get one free. 
Um, not that Jake will eat this other one, but like it wouldn't let me get rid of the other one. So I guess I'm not, definitely not having two, don't worry, but I'll just put one in the fridge or something. But yeah, the chippies from here. <gasps> it's so good. Here's the chicken salt. Um, so good. I love smash patty burgers. I think they are delicious. Mmm. Like pickles. Lettuce, cheese. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just um getting some work done on my laptop. Need to edit these videos. And then Jake should be home soon, and then we'll go to the movies. Jake and I are going to the movies, so I'm just wearing this um, white fox set, so it's like the hoodie. And then the shorts with my Nikes. And yeah, Jake's downstairs. He only just got back from the shoot um, then. So I'm gonna go downstairs and we're gonna go straight away and then we're gonna go to dinner. We're actually gonna go um, back to Outback Steakhouse. We went there last week and it was so good. And I've been craving it all week since. So I'm like the type of person that if I have something and I really like it, I have it again and again and again until I'm like sick of it. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. But yeah, I'm not making the same mistake as last week. I will not freeze in the cinemas, I hope. Um, my legs might get a bit cold, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay. Getting myself a little snack. I need a snack. Like, right. I don't really like that type of mac and cheese. 